One popular question that is asked is, is it actually possible to live in Thailand for less than 700 US dollars every single month? Today, we will be exploring five things to do and not to do in order to live in Thailand for $700 a month. One, do live in Chiang Mai or Chiang Rai. These areas are extremely comfortable to live in as a foreigner and are also some of the most cheapest cities in Thailand. Two, do rent or purchase a motorbike instead of using private transportation. Rental of a motorbike can be found for less than 2,000 baht. This is for a standard bike, however purchasing a bike will often save you more in the long term. Three, do take your time with dating. There are a lot of single people in Thailand and there are also plenty of opportunities in the dating world. But dating in Thailand can become an expensive experience. 4. If you buy alcoholic drinks, do purchase these in local supermarkets. Alcoholic drinks can be one of the most costly expenses depending on the venue and the location, and it's often much cheaper to purchase these in supermarkets. 5. Do create a financial plan and keep money aside each month for monthly or annual visa fees. So let's take a look at 5 things that you don't need to do in order to live on less than $700 a month in Thailand. 1. You don't need to eat like the locals 24-7. Western food is not overly expensive and for a budget of $700 you can enjoy Western food frequently. 2. You do not need to stay indoors. There are many experiences around Thailand that are completely free and this is one of the perks of living in Thailand as an expat. 3. You don't need to wash your own clothes. I have my clothes washed, dried and ironed at least two to three times a week by a professional dry cleaning service. And this service costs around 30 to 40 US dollars a month. 4. You don't need to rent a small studio as there are many large one bedroom units and apartments available at a fantastic price. 5. You don't need to quit the gym but premium gyms are often overpriced. As a general rule, I would not pay more than 1,000 baht for a local gym in Thailand. So now let's take a look at a breakdown of example costs to expect. Here are some additional tips that may be useful for you. Before you go, leave at least one month of living expenses with someone you trust, such as your mum, and completely forget about these funds and only use them for emergency purposes only. Long-term rentals often mean lower prices in Thailand, but deposits may be high, so it's always best to fully read any contracts and always negotiate before signing any documentation. If at all possible, try to get out of the main city and visit some of the locals in the nearby neighborhoods, as you will often find some fantastic deals at a very cost-effective price. There are many services such as Grab and other transportation operators that reward you as a customer. Use these apps and services to save money and get promotions while living in Thailand. 